Well, it's very good that when you're doing the business, yes. as an expert, mm. I'll advise you, mm. you have to be very sure mm. of where you're investing. Yes. It's good that you invest your money mm. where you're guaranteed over a return. Yes. What farmers don't understand is mm. we've got an F1 and an F2 and an F3. Yes. And these birds, mm. their characteristics yes. keep reducing. The characteristics of an F2 mm. and an F3 cannot yes. be the same as the characteristics mm. of an F1. And the performance is quite very good. Yes. You look at the low mortalities, which are quite normal mortalities. Yes. Then the FCR, the feed conversion ratio yes. is quite good. That means that the bird is gaining weight yes. optimally to the feed intake. Mm. So you as a farmer, yes. when you look at the costs, if you do your arithmetic, yes. then there's something that you're getting in terms of return. Yes. You get the point? Yes, I'm getting I'm happy it. To, to see what you're doing. Yes. And I'm quite motivated. Yes. To see you do this. And I don't see you stop it now. Yes. <laughs> Maybe you would advise a young lady. Yes. Or the youth outside there. Yes. What they should be prepared of when they come into the industry. Mm, first of all, mm -hmm. you should have a good housing, mm -hmm. uh, you should have some capital to start, mm -hmm. that is uh, money to use to buy the feeds mm -hmm. and the chips, mm -hmm. and you should also have a laborer, a person who can help you, or all you right. can do it alone, mm -hmm. uh, if you can make it, mm -hmm. but first of all, you should also go for training. Okay. Thank you so much. Yes. And uh, when you come in the second round, yes. I'm going to advise you yes. on where we can improve uh, on the farm, both on the broiler chicken yes. and on the Canberra chicken. Yes. It was a pleasure interviewing you. Uh, thank, thank you. We are back in the second part of this review. Mm. And I'm now going to help you, Madam Julia, yes. to try to understand some of the mistakes you've done yes. so that you can improve on them. Yes. And then next time, I'll be happy to visit you and see that your income has risen from $500 at least to something yeah. because of the changes you are going to make. Yes. So for example, yes. it's very important mm. that when you look at your feeders, yes. your feeders are actually sitting on the floor, yes. all right? Yes. And this is not correct, yes. all right? Yes. Why? When the feeder is on the floor, mm. like let's say like this one, it's too low, yes. there is spillage of feed. Yes. The feed spills on the ground, okay? So when the feed spills on the ground, yes. the chicken actually will be losing some more feed. And you know, mm -hmm. most of us don't do costing. When you do costing in terms of the feed that you've lost vis-a-vis -vis the intake, yes. you'll find that you will be reducing on your income. So it is good yes. that, for example, mm. I'll use this feeder yes. because it has got a handle on top. Yes. So it's, for example, it is good mm. that your feeder yes. is suspended. Okay? Yes. So that this Place, okay, this edge of the feeder yes. is actually in line mm. with the back line of the chick. Okay, so when the chicken eat, yeah. there is minimal loss of feed to the ground, all right? Yes. And make sure mm. you maintain that. Never put your feed on the floor. Yes. So when you start brooding the chicken, yes. as the chicken keep growing, you keep raising the, the feeder, yes. all right? Let's do it practically. Yes. You'll take a rope, yes. like this one, mm. then just tie here. Just tie a light knot, yes. like this one, very easy for you. Yes. And then you can tie like that, yes. and you do like that. Yeah. And then you can get a rope like this one, for example, to suspend it. Yes. And so, just do some lifting and check, yes. like that is the back line, right? Yes. You can hold for me yes. at that point, and then you can join it here. Yes. All right, yes. so it's well done. Yes. So that one is now at the... The level with the buds, yes. they can eat. You see now, you, you see how the bird is eating? For example, you see it's exactly. Do you see any spillages? No, no. So you get stronger ropes and do that. You will actually, you'll come, you'll not see any feed spillage. Yes. You will see that your feed intake in terms of the bugs that you're consuming per day yes. have reduced. Okay. okay? Yes. And then when you want to top up food, yes. you look for a bucket mm. and you use a jug. Mm, it's easy. Jug. Yeah, yes. just come and add food with the jug. Yes. And then when the birds are are pecking the feed, yes. the feed shakes and then it moves out. So there's consumption of feed completely. Yeah. Okay? okay? Yes. You'll find that sometimes when you come and check your bird, you'll find that they're they are having like if you check, let me just get one. Mm. If you check the rear of the bird, yes. for example, you see this bird? Yes. That the bird has soiled itself with white diarrhea. Yes. 
Have you ever seen that milky diarrhea? Yeah, I've seen it. So when you see that one, yeah. that simply means that the feed is contaminated like it's fungal. When the feed is, is like when, you see when the feed clusters like in this feeder, yes. the feed is not being consumed fully. Yeah. When you come back tomorrow, yeah. you simply come and top up the feed. But the feed at the base yeah. is starting to ferment and develop fungi. So when the birds consume that, yeah. that's when you see that they are doing that diarrhea, yeah. white diarrhea, and yeah, yeah. see that's a fungal infection. Yeah. And it's not so, so good because you'll end up losing your buzz due to a flatoxin and such. Yeah. So by suspending the feed, that's okay. Oh. And I want you to do the same yeah. for drinkers. These drinkers you have yeah. are good, yeah. but the problem is yeah. they don't have a handle for suspension. These ones will be good for, yeah. for, for day olds, all right? Oh, yes. So when you're doing... Um, Brood, uh, the drinkers, mm. I think you've come across the drinkers mm. which have got a handle, yes. all right? Mm. So use that drinker with the handle mm. and suspend it also yes. so that the birds will drink water yes. in line with the back line, mm. all right? Yeah. When the birds drink water from the floor, mm. for example, you see where I'm standing here, it's there was a drinker wet. and it's already wet. Yes. Now, the disadvantages of the floor being wet, mm. when the water spills on the ground, it creates a conducive environment mm. for multiplication of coccidia. All right? Yeah. So that's when you find other bacteria mm. will also come and do multiplication because of a favorable environment. Okay. And then as the birds will come in contact with the litter, mm. they will consume yes. that bacteria. Yes. That's when you'll see you have very high chances of coccidiosis, yes. cholera, and typhoid, and all that like. Yes. Then the business aspect of it, yes. the financial aspect of it, is mm. when the water spills on the ground, yes. let's say, for example, that is water that is mixed with vaccine. Yes. You see, you're spreading that, oh, yeah, that uh, yeah. disease, to yeah. that virus, yeah. to, the, to, the, to, the, to the, the house, all right? Yeah. Or rather, yeah. the environment. Yeah. And if you have mixed that water yeah. with a vitamin, for example, or even the birds are under medication, yes. you see, you're wasting that medication. And that is a shilling. Mm. You're punching your pocket. So try to suspend your feeders yes. and also your drinkers. Okay. Another thing that would sub with your farm, mm is the, the, the bedding. Oh, yes. I've just observed yes, that litter, yes. the litter mm. is supposed to be three to four three. inches. Oh, three to four inches. Yeah, three to four inches. Yes. All right? Yes. And then try to avoid uh, clumps, like where there's caking. For example, see this one? Mm. This one is supposed to do it daily, yeah. clean and remove such, such, cake. such cakes. Yeah, yeah. You know, throw them outside, yes. and then put in a wheelbarrow and take to the farm to be used as compost manure. Yeah. All right? Then try to mix the manure after mm. some time so that it mm. can be used for longer mm. and then it can provide a conducive environment because if they ma let the litter keeps caking yes. and then you'll find that there's, there's a, an, a tendency of ammonia mm. building up very fast yes. and then that's when you'll see your chicken start sneezing, mm. they start coughing, yes. such things like CRD. Yeah. Exactly. In yeah. Kiswahili we say kungorota, yeah. you know? Yeah. And you know, such things will compromise the growth and mm. the production of the bird in the exactly. long run. Exactly. All right? Yeah. I can see the uh, ventilation is good. Yes. You've done quite some uh, nice ventilation. Yes. And then very important, mm. I want you to check the spacing. The spacing Especially yeah. for the broiler, yeah. when they are when they're still young, yeah. we usually say, mm. let them at least be half a foot per, per chick. Oh, but yeah. when they grow, mm. you can go for one mm. and a quarter or one and a half. Mm. Le let's say one and a quarter spacing mm. of, foot, of feet per bird. Yes. All right? Yes. So, very important. Mm. And I also want to advise Juliet, yes. and I want to advise my viewer. Mm. The feed. The feed is equally important like the breed. Actually, two things mm. determine the poultry business. Okay. The feed and the breed. Oh, yeah. If you get the right breed, mm. you have to get the right feed. feed. Because yeah. if you get the right breed, like now you have very good birds, you have good uh, some good canbros, yes. their growth is good. Mm. If you give them feed mm. that is not quality, yes. it is not going to reciprocate yes. or rather perform yes. in terms of their output. Mm. You will blame Ken chick mm. or your supplier mm. for not supplying you quality chicks, mm. but the problem is the feed. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You can have chicks that you just bought them from a local hatchery, yeah. they come, they don't perform, then you blame the supplier of feed, for example, can chicka supply you with fugo feeds, mm. you blame them mm. for not supplying you quality feed. Yeah. But the problem is the breed. So once you have the correct breed yeah. and the yeah. correct feed, mm. they go together. Exactly. Thank you for Do you have any questions for me? Mm. Uh,
this challenge, I've told you about the challenges of diseases. Okay. What can you advise about the wow. diseases? Yeah. That's a good one. Mm. You know, diseases will mostly come from routine practices. Like I've just advised you on suspending of the feeders. Well, it is not quite uh, in order for me, for example, to tell you yeah. when you have this disease, yeah. use this medicine. Okay. All right? Yeah. Because that is like, I'm telling you, you know, you will see signs and symptoms yeah. because you're not an expert in disease. Yes, yes. Then you, you might prescribe a drug that is not correct. Yeah. But the best advice I can give you about diseases, yes. you need to get a qualified, experienced practitioner. Okay. Right? Yes. Who can be able to come and do diagnosis for you? and then recommend the correct medication for you yes. and avoid people who you are not sure about their academics or their qualifications. Yes. Don't get somebody to tell you that I've been working in an aggravate mm. for a very long time, yes. I know how to sell drugs and medication. Mm. No, that is wrong. Get somebody and ask him, mm. where is your permit? Yeah. Like, I've not seen you here, how long? Get somebody you quite know is experienced yeah. to help in the diseases. Yeah. But try to maintain the correct routine management practices that I've just advised you yeah. and you'll, actually you might raise the chicken without a disease. Uh, yeah. Don't have this characteristic of all the time you see the chicken you give antibiotics, antibiotics, antibiotics. Yeah. I want you to consider the consumer of the chicks yeah. or the chicken, the meat that you're producing in the market. Yeah. Because these antibiotics have got a withdrawal period. Yeah. But sometimes you give birds this medication yeah. and you just sell without considering that withdrawal yeah. period. But just follow the correct routine management, you know, see the diseases, mm. do timely vaccination, yeah. all right? Yes. And you can check in some of my videos, mm. you'll see the vaccination program. I'm here to do a vaccination program for broilers. Yeah. And what I tell you is what I've done, what I've studied, mm. and there's no gambling. 